Hey guys, salut mes amis, oh hello goodbye. Valve has slapped us with another big map oriented update for CS2. We kind of hoped that this one would release last week, but it ended up coming early this week instead. Two new maps have been introduced, Overpass and Vertigo, and let's get into that right after Skin Baron, a Germany based skins marketplace that typically offers prices as low as 30% than those on the Steam market. The browsing experience is user friendly with organized categories at the top with previews. Selling is straightforward too. Not only can you sell skins for actual money, which can go directly to your bank account, there's a lot of features to help you find the exact skin you're looking for. Also on the front page, you'll find some exciting deals. So make sure you click the link down below to explore Skin Baron, the sponsor of this video. After this absolute beefcake of an update, yes, 4.9 gigabytes for some reason, launching this version of CS2, I get a new window pop-up, sort of like an optimized button for noobs to get a handle on the game settings without needing a PhD. If this works well, then that's huge. But the real treat for this update is once again, the maps. Straight up in the background, I met with the brand spanking new Overpass scenery background. And the highlight being that Overpass is now part of the competitive game mode, and it's also debuted in the wingman mode. I predicted this one, by the way. Let's start with the side dish, Vertigo. Seeing this wasn't even in the promotional material, I would probably guess that it falls under the first category of CS2 tier maps, so touchstones. Once you boot up Vertigo, you'll notice that it's pretty damn bright. I'm getting team flashed over here, but I do admit it looks really slick and it feels new. Some parts of the map are giving me some major Mirror's Edge vibes. It looks like the overall layout is untouched and it's staying the course. No major changes that I can spot at least. Even the skybox seems to be the same, just the lighting itself is different. But now for the main course, Overpass. This is our first overhaul map for CS2, which means it's rebuilt from the ground up. CT spawn is so fresh and new, it's like walking into another dimension. Every nook and cranny of this map is brimming with details that we've never seen before. It's just so much to take in, I'm struggling to kind of put it into words. Just look at Long. It's like they've finally made it look like it's running on a modern engine. We actually have grass now. But I mean, there's so much new stuff, details, and everything. Over here, we got the new playground area. The slides are gone. And the dragon that popped up on CS2's Twitter banner is here. Everything is making sense. I'm sorry to say this, but you can't climb up to the tower, but you can interact with the spring riders. Yay. Cool little extra, but you can surf this. And this area used to have a tree. Its absence could mix up the molly lineup. Could be intentional by Valve. This version of Overpass feels like one you made up in your mind. It's just packed with so much more. Over here by B, we've got Monster, which might be the least changed area of the entire map. Also notice they've added water down here, and yes, there's even a water effect when you run over it. It's like a visual ASMR. Running over water is pretty addicting, actually. Can you still get stuck up here? Nah. But you can now hop onto this instead. Val must have decided to change this intentionally. Just look at b Sight. Shorts looking fresh, and notice the reflections, the lighting, the new posters and graffitis, everything. I mean, it's so pretty. The connector's gone all green, which is cool and also useful, you'll see what I mean soon. Coming up to party in mid, here's how that looks. Like the video for the new balloon pop effect. Bathrooms look snazzy with the reflections on the floor. This bit actually leads down to the train platforms now. Unlike in CSGO where this was the bathrooms, they've moved those here. Bananas spotless, the tiled floors is a nice touch but inside has turned to some kind of metro station. This area close to long also looks totally different and way more alive. There's a ticket booth, a timetable, a sadly empty vending machine, and an elevator. Banks has also been changed up big time. Look at the details right here. There's a door here adding a little more lore to overpass. Over here, down at the lower area, it's now red themed. The upper area is blue themed. Remember how connector was green? Valve totally thought of this when rebuilding the map. I still have a hard time believing what I'm seeing. Still no ABC graffiti in ABC, but the walls, man. The details on the walls and how they're broken now. This will affect the triple boost depending on where you stand. I feel like I've only scratched the surface of Overpass, but I'm very pleasantly surprised. I'm all for these changes, and there's not really a lot of bad things I can say about it. 
except for the fact that I can no longer make it rain. The patch notes focus on the new maps, some workshop, and miscellaneous changes. The biggest add-on here is the ability to change how your secondary fire hold option works. Basically, if you hold down mouse 2, you would continue zooming endlessly on repeat. You can now disable this, so holding down mouse 2 will only leave you on the first zoom. But what do you guys think of Overpass and Vertigo? You like their new looks? Let me know in the comments. Peace.